All right, so this video is going to be about getting pollen off of everything. No, just kidding. Uh, how to run my entire house off of this 240 volt Delta Pro system with 2,520 watts of solar panels connected. Now, these solar panels that I'm using, uh, they're the ones from PoweredPortableSolar.com. That's where you can find all of these kits and accessories and so on. But these panels have been the best panels that I have found that match with the Delta Pro. Because of the Delta Pro's solar input parameter, it works the best for over paneling and getting the most efficient charge into this. So I'm gonna take you step by step. I'm gonna cut power from the grid. I'm gonna connect everything here. The solar panel is outside. You're gonna see me do that live. So that way, if you have this Delta Pro 2520 240 volt kit, which you can find at poweredportablesolar.com, then you'll know step by step how to connect this up. The same applies to pretty much any other kit. So I'm excited to see if this works. I've got basically 21 kilowatt hours of battery capacity here, and we're gonna put it to the test to see if this will truly run a house off grid for a long period of time. So stick around, this video should be pretty fun. I don't think you're gonna wanna miss it. I've got the electrical panel running off of this. I can see that leg A is using 530 watts right now and leg B is only using 45 watts. And that's what I experienced when I've tested this in the past is that the top unit gets used a lot more and that's running the right side of the electrical panel. And that's probably because on the right side of the electrical panel, I have a sub panel which goes and runs the downstairs. So whatever's running downstairs is probably using a decent amount of power. Uh, it just went up here. Now I'm gonna have another video on how I build a solar stand for these larger solar panels. So right now it's summer and the sun is almost all the way up in the sky. For my area, 72 degrees is the ideal angle for my solar panels for this time of the year. And so right now, because the sun is at a slight angle and these are flat on the ground, it's not that perfect perpendicular angle to the sun which you really wanna get. So over the next few days, I'm just gonna film myself here and there doing stuff around the house, showing you that it's still running 100% off of the EcoFlow. I am not planning on using any grid power. If the system goes dead, at that point, I'll know that that's as long as I can go and I'll switch back to grid power. And of course, I'll bring you along with me for that. This video is gonna take the rest of the week to film. If you appreciate that, make sure you leave a thumbs up. This video is not sponsored. I paid for everything here out of my own pocket. And part of that is from help from you guys who go to poweredportablesolar.com and order your equipment there. That helps support me in being able to test equipment like this. So that way you know what is the best system for you and for your situation. So if you appreciate that, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. If you need to order any equipment, go to poweredportablesolar.com. It really, truly does help. Hopefully this works, fingers crossed. Let's get into it. This one's been going for just over four hours and you can see that this is a spinning right here. And so that means it's charging. So I've just been at the office working the last four hours. So I don't know what all has been running, but we're still at 99% basically topped off here on everything. So four hours in looking good. So it's just after two o'clock in the afternoon and you can see that shadow is already starting to get close, but tomorrow I'll probably move these over just so I get more exposure throughout the rest of the day. So we're nine hours in, the top unit, which is running the right side of the electrical panel, is down to 82%. It's drawing consistently around 500 watts, um, and I'm not really sure what all it's running. It's just running all of the time, basically, though. The bottom unit's at 100%, and there is something somewhere that is definitely draining a lot of power off that right side just constantly. So I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to go try to figure out what that is. I'm going around checking stuff on the app and kind of tracking all the power usage. The top one is still using tons of power. I'm going to go ahead and use the air fryer here and see uh, what we can do. I think 
these outlets are on the left side of the electrical panel. Yep. 1700 watts right there for the uh, air fryer, but it's running it. So I'll let this run for the 10 minutes or so, and we'll kind of be able to see how much power it uses. That's cool. Okay, after all of that, it only used 1.4%. So not bad at all. I'm gonna eat my dinner. And now I'm gonna surf the web and watch some TV. Okay, well, I just got up a little bit ago. I gotta go up to the cabin today and do a bunch of yard work, which is always fun. And uh, we are at 21% on the top unit and only 82% on the bottom unit. So if you split the difference, it's basically 50%. I figured out what is running off of this so much. So first thing is that the fridge, for one, is running on the top unit, as well as my two freezers. But I also have some new ducts here at the house, and they need a heat lamp because it's still getting below 50 degrees at night. This has constantly been running a 250 watt heating bulb that's heating up their little living area. So that is one of the reasons why it's been using so much power, is it's been running nonstop running a heating element, and we all know that heat uses a lot of energy. The sun isn't on the solar panels just yet. It says I've got about four hours left on this one. Hopefully it's uh, more than that. I think I'll turn off the heat bulb for the ducts real quick before I leave. This may actually turn off while I'm gone and I may come back to a dead system. So we'll see. Uh, fingers crossed that doesn't happen. So I'll check back in and when I get back. About 5.20 in the afternoon, so I've been gone 11, 12 hours, something like that. The top unit only got up to 36%. I did turn off the duct light, so that way it wasn't draining all day. Uh, but basically, it looks like I got a charge and it's just been holding steady. We've had overcast all day. The bottom unit, which is hardly running anything ever, is at 100%. So for tonight, I'm gonna take this leg, which is the right side of the electrical panel, and I'm gonna swap it to this unit. That way I know we can for sure get through the whole night, because I'm pretty confident that 36% is not gonna be enough to get through the whole night off of this system here. So one of the things that's really hard to put a price on with having this Delta Pro 240 volt setup is the fact that I have running water whenever I want it. So I just took a nice hot shower and I didn't have to worry about running the well pump or the pressurization tank or anything like that. And mostly that's due to the fact that anything heat related here in my house is run off propane. So that's something to keep in mind, whereas propane would always be working as long as you have it. There is no perfect scenario. One of the things that has been nice is using the EcoFlow app. It seems to read out properly. You can do all your updates and check info on your systems. So this is my Delta Pro on the top rack. I can see it's currently at 35.74%. But one of the nicest features, it tells me how much longer until the battery's empty. And it says at this rate, it'll be three days and 19 hours. Now, obviously that's because basically nothing is being run on that side of the electrical panel. And this is the left side of the electrical panel for me now. But I can go to the bottom rack one, and this says that it's at 99%, outputting 335 watts, and it's got one day and 11 hours. So I am finding the app to be helpful. It's nice to be in my bedroom and have those in the garage, and I can monitor everything. So I'm 46 hours in, everything's still going great. My Delta Pro that's running uh, the right side of the panel, which is the main side of the panel, is at 54%. I have one gas heated dryer and one electric heated dryer. I'm not going to use the electric, I'm just going to use the gas. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done. The washing machines, obviously, are perfectly fine to both run at the same time because they don't use a lot of power. So the sun is not hitting the systems yet. I'm going to go ahead and do normal load on here can see that I'm doing only 281 watts right now on this main side. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. It's up to 700 watts. So hopefully there's no issue in, in running all of this. Definitely shouldn't be an issue because it's all 120 volt power. So I should definitely be able to do it. Okay, both of them are done. I'm getting... Their solar panels are starting to get hit by the sun now. Getting about 680 watts in with the solar panels. But I'm outputting about 500 right now. So I'm probably going to be losing power as I dry this, but clothes got to get dry. Just living life like pretty much normal right now. Pretty awesome. So I'm officially 50 hours into this. Things have been going well so far. I just got all the laundry done that I needed to do. So I'm a little concerned that I'm not going to get a full charge. Um, and I'm not sure how it's going to go lasting through the whole night with what I get in charge today. I've got about four hours left before the roof starts to shade those solar panels. So we'll see how it goes in a bit. So I figured out what's drawing so much power and it's the batteries because the Delta Pro is charging up the batteries as well. You can actually see here 
I'm inputting 913 watts from the solar panels. I've got 250 watts going in here and 250 watts going in here. So that gives me 500, which means there's about 400 watts that are going into this Delta Pro and then 250 into each of these expansion batteries. That's why it's reading 500 watts out because I know that this Delta Pro is basically running nothing because this is running the left side of my electrical panel, which basically doesn't run anything. So this is probably one of the difficulties that I've had with the Delta Pro is understanding the screen because when it's getting power from the batteries, it says it's getting an input. But also when it's charging the batteries, that's considered an output. And there's no easy way to tell how much is coming from the panels versus what's going to the batteries. There's no way to separate that information. So that is something that is gonna be a little bit difficult to get used to. But overall, the system is still running well and hopefully I can get this charged up today, fingers crossed. Keep in mind that this is 50% of what I can connect to the Delta Pro. I can add twice as many panels if I need to, to keep this up and running, but that's not gonna be happening in this video because I'm testing this setup to see how that'll work. So fingers crossed, it'll still work. I, I literally just got off the phone with uh, a friend of mine and he was told that he's going to be basically guaranteed blackouts and brownouts this summer um, as more coal power goes offline and stuff like that. He's looking at backup power I mean, just to, even just to not let his food go bad. An hour ago, I was on the phone with someone who has to run an oxygen concentrator. If they don't have the oxygen, they can literally die. And they were informed, hey, sorry, whatever inconvenience it is, but we're not gonna have power all summer. So there's going to be blackouts. And you know, gas generators, your gas is up in price. Um, everything is up in price. It's, it's ridiculous, everybody knows that, but the point is, you know, these power outages that are either scheduled or coming or whether it's an EMP attack, flood, doesn't matter. These power outages have serious bad effects on people. And this is why I love the solar so much. And you can see my fuel tanks here in the background. I've done another video on that. I have gas and propane generators that I can use to back up my solar. So in the event of really bad weather, I can recharge those Delta Pros. And because they have quick chargers on them, I can recharge the whole battery bank system in five hours or so. So really the bottom line is guys, this is why I'm prepared. We're seeing it now with these shortages and price hikes and everything like that. It is absolutely invaluable to have something like this. Uh, you're also welcome to shoot me emails at info at poweredportablesolar.com, comment down below. I'm here to help you guys. That's why I'm doing this. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for all this equipment out of my own pocket, but uh, bottom line is we need to get prepared and I think we'll be able to get through the rest of the night. Okay, I'm officially, as of three minutes ago, at the 72 hour mark. I repositioned the panels. I then, as soon as the sun comes up over there, not even the greenhouse is in the way, and because of the angle of the sun being so high, my trees over this way won't shatter these. And then the roof over here won't block these till well after five o'clock, whereas before it was about four or 4.30, they were getting blocked. So bought myself some more time on the solar panels. I'm already getting 700 watts out of each array. And one of the cool things that I learned about the app is that as long as my system is connected to Wi-Fi, I can monitor the entire system from my phone anywhere. I was uh, out and about yesterday and I was able to check in on my system and see exactly what was going on. And yesterday, with the solar panels being on a driveway, which is hot, solar panels are less efficient when they're hot, and with them being flat on the ground, which is not the ideal angle, I was getting 87% efficiency out of the solar panels, which is good by itself with them at, the, at a proper angle. So being perfectly flat and being that good, I was amazed. So if I were to prop them up, I should very, very likely be at a 100% efficiency, meaning that I'm getting 210 watts out of every single solar panel. These are the panels that come with the Delta Pro kits. The Delta Pro kits work best with these 210 watt panels. They're better than the 100 watt, better than 300 watt, 350, 250, 400, all of those different types of panels. I calculated to see which one would be able to put in the best amount of power to the Delta Pro, and these are them. So you can use any panel, but it's hard to get the max solar input, except with these. And last night, I never even got below 50% on both units. So I'm really hoping that by the end of today, my units are fully charged from the panels being like this, and we should be able to continue on even longer without any problems. All right, everyone, it's officially 96 hours. It's actually more than 96 hours. I've been doing this nonstop for four days straight. I'm very impressed. I definitely love it. I definitely am glad I purchased this. I love the fact that I can run my whole house and be in comfort 
when there's a blackout or something's happening to the grid and I don't have power from the grid. One of the other added benefits is for the last four days, I haven't had an electricity bill because I've been running everything off of this. I'd say my biggest takeaway for my personal situation is that I do want to get more solar panels. This is the Delta Pro 2520 240 volt kit from poweredportablesolar.com. I added the extra batteries and I have 2,520 watts in solar panels. I can double that amount of solar panels to over panel each of these systems. And when I get that kit set up, I will do a video and continue showing you guys how that works. But the amazing thing is yesterday we did five loads of laundry. Everybody took showers. We're watching TV, running the Wi-Fi, doing all of that stuff like life was normal. The only thing that was different is we didn't use the electric dryer. Everything else we used just like normal. There, we were running fans the entire night because it was a hot day. Unequivocally, this did it for four days nonstop. I have other projects that I have to get moving on to, and that's why I'm gonna stop this video here because I need to use those panels for other projects so I can test some more stuff for you guys. So, so to all my supporters, my Patreon members, everyone who comments and emails at, at info at powerportablesolar.com, Everyone, thank you so much for being a part of the Minuteman Prep YouTube channel. You guys make this possible. You're the reason why I do this. If you're interested in getting a kit like this, just go to poweredportablesolar.com. You'll find all of the kits there. You can get the exact equipment that I'm running here, and that way you can be better prepared for when the, there's blackouts and, and grid issues, basically. The bottom line for me, I want to get more solar panels. I'm going to do that. I'm happy with this setup here but I've also got other solar generators that I'll be testing and reviewing. So make sure you subscribe for that. Thank you again for tuning in. Now is the time to be prepared. For me, really having water easily accessible is one of the biggest benefits uh, that this has provided me. And I absolutely love that it has made life enjoyable while I've been doing this test. So I very, very highly recommend this and I will be expanding it even more. And I look forward to doing that test and showing you guys here on the Minuteman Prep YouTube channel. Be prepared, get your equipment now. I'll see you guys in the next video.